fam. What's up, fam? I'm Ryan Milton from Team Flex. You're on my show. I do every Monday. We talk about all things nutrition. This is called Protein Power. Today, I want to dive into the nutrition of muscle building. What you need to know if you're trying to build any amount of muscle, how you can actually build lean muscle versus adding just body fat. We're going to talk about all that right here, okay? Make sure you do me a favor, though. Subscribe to this channel and then share out this video. I'm Ryan Milton from Team Flex, you are watching Protein Power. When we talk about building muscle, one thing you gotta understand is yes, it requires going to the gym, lifting some weights, you gotta do that, okay? Or maybe you could do body weight, but either way, you gotta put stimulus on the body, all right? You gotta, you gotta be hitting these different tissues and eliciting a recovery response, but none of that will matter if you don't have the nutrition to match, okay? These things, they go hand in hand, and honestly, most of the time, actually pretty much 85% of the damn time, if you don't have the right nutrition, you're not going to get the result. And that really comes into play when we talk about build muscle, all right? So you got to understand, you got to have the right nutrition if you expect to build muscle. So what is the first thing you got to look at? Let me tell you right now. Number one is your caloric surplus. You have to make sure you are getting more calories than you need to maintain your current body weight, okay? That means you need to be in a surplus. And when you're in a surplus, that's how your body actually can start to utilize its processes to build more muscle. Now, in a caloric surplus, you also will add on more body fat. So the amount of surplus you wanna do is going to vary. Now there's many schools of thought, there's a lot a lot of people out there that you know they they train in a diet phase and they're tracking everything or paying attention to everything well when they're not doing that they're in a bulking phase right and they're just kind of off the grid eating whatever doing whatever you know lots of bad junk food and not really paying attention to cal calories or macros or anything else for that matter and they will add on a lot of weight they'll put on a lot of weight but it's not muscle a lot of it's body fat, okay? So if you're one of those people that wanna go off the Richter scale and you're just trying to eat whatever and you don't care how much body fat you put on, that's a great way to add a lot of body fat. It's not really a great way to build any muscle. If you're trying to build muscle, you wanna be in a caloric surplus. And if you wanna build lean muscle, you wanna be in a minimal caloric surplus, okay? So you figure out your calories, where you're at now, and you add you know, 300, 500, and you see how your body responds, okay? So you're eating three to 500 calories above maintenance and now you're going about doing your check-ins you're doing your progress pictures your body stats your measurements and you're seeing where you're at this is what I do as a coach by the way all the time when I have somebody trying to build muscle I'm constantly monitoring their physique constantly monitoring their strength constantly monitoring their stats seeing where that seeing what's going on and if we're adding actual quality muscle or just piling on body fat and I'll tell you guys what if we're trying to do lean muscle that's all I do I don't have anybody ever add on tons of body fat you know if they go off the grid on their own that's one thing that does happen from time to time with you know a client here they'll miss some check-ins vanish can't find them but if you're actually following the protocol you're gonna add lean muscle you're gonna add lean muscle stay relatively lean and actually get stronger build muscle get a better physique by being in that minimal you know caloric deficit or caloric surplus sorry too many damn things on this protein show uh, caloric surplus being in you know not a huge one but working your way through and seeing where you're at and then adjusting based on how your body responds.
Second thing I want to talk about, you can't only think about the calories, okay? Calories are obviously the baseline for where we need to go. You have to be in a surplus. But it really does come down to the specific macronutrients. And when we're talking about macronutrients, we're talking about proteins, carbs, and fats. You want to have these things be in the right zone to actually help you build muscle, okay? So your first one, and you know, this is the nutrient we pay attention to pretty much all the time with any phase, is protein. Okay, protein power, protein. You gotta make sure your protein's in the right spot. If you don't have enough protein going on in your diet, you're gonna be hard built to build any muscle, all right? Protein is literally the building blocks of actually any muscle strength, all that that you're gonna build. So you wanna make sure that you have your protein in a good spot. Now, there's a number of ways to figure this out. It's different for every person. I wish I could just tell you all watching, hey, you know, 130 grams a day, hey, 150 grams a day. I can't because everybody is different. Every single person is different, so the amount of protein you need is going to be different. But you do have to make sure it's an adequate amount. Uh, you know, the old school method was basically one gram per pound of body weight. Um, now it's one gram per pound of lean body mass, but really, you got to know what your lean body mass is. I'll tell you guys what, as a coach, I do a wide variety. I'm looking at my client, I'm looking at, you know, their lifestyle. I'm looking at so many different things when I figure out how much protein I'm going to give them, and I will adjust it quite often, sometimes up, sometimes down depending on where we are, what we're doing, and all that. But figure out your baseline protein. You gotta have your protein in a good spot. If you just wanna guess, you know, and just start on something today, I would start with one gram per pound of body weight, okay? It's gonna cover all your bases most of the time for any of you out there watching. Next thing you really wanna look at is actually your fats. You might think I was gonna say carbs, but your fats. Your fats are largely important regarding your hormone function in your body, okay? You need to make sure you have the right level of fats going on, and you know, you want to have a moderate level here. You don't want to be super low. You don't want to be too high. But again, your nutritional practice, it's going to be different. Whatever you're doing. You, some of you out there, you know, you're, you're more of the low carb dieters. Some of you out there, uh, the higher carb dieters. Well, if you're going to be in the zone either way, you got to know that you need to have your fats be at the right level. And this, again, is different for every single person. So really, what you want to look at is the factor between having your fats either be high or being low or being in a moderate zone, depending depending on what you do with your carbs, okay? So your carbs are the last nutrient, and we focus on those last because it's not really, you know, an essential nutrient. There's a lot of people that do keto, they do carnivore, they do all this stuff, and they build muscle. You can definitely build muscle doing those things, and you know, you can survive longer without carbs than you can without fats or proteins. But however, these fats and the carbs are kind of almost interchangeable depending on how you're gonna get your surplus. When I'm building a nutrition program, most of the time I'm gonna put the fats at a moderate level, and and I'm gonna try to get the carbs up pretty high in a muscle building phase. And that's because carbs are far easier to eat, you know, in general than having a lot of protein or a lot of fat. You know, carbs are, you know, sugars, simple sugars, fruits, you know, a lot of grains, rices, things like that. If you get a higher carb and take a lot of time, it's easier to get the calories down, which actually does become a problem overall when you're building because you're in a surplus. And, you know, eventually the more you build, the higher you get with these meals. You gotta eat more and more of these things. Things. And so a lot of times that's what I'm kind of looking at, you know, get the right protein, get a moderate level of fats, higher intake on the carbs to help build muscle. This is what is critical when it comes down to actually building muscle. You want to make sure you have your macros lined up. this nutrition I know you guys I keep saying hey it's all about the custom it's all about each person it really is I wish I could just give you a meal plan I wish I could just tell you generic stuff but I really can't do it all that I can tell you is that you got to be in a surplus you got to be in a caloric surplus you need to prioritize protein you need to focus on your fat and take it in a moderate amount and then figure out your carbs if you're not in a caloric surplus though it's gonna be impossible for you to build any muscle in this zone no matter how hard you train the amount of people that 
go to the gym, they train so hard, but they slack off on this part of nutrition, you know, it's it's the key to actually making those gains, actually growing, actually developing, getting stronger, building more muscle. You gotta make sure you're in the surplus, okay? And obviously, we're talking about just a muscle building phase right here. We're not talking about cutting. Your macros for cutting down would be different. However, if you slowly increase your macros, okay? So you start with, you know, your three to 500 baseline I gave you for building muscle, and you slowly increase them over time based on how your body responds, you can actually stay very, very lean and build a lot of muscles. This is what I do with my clients year round. It's kind of called a reverse diet. It's you know called a lean bulking phase. It's called a lean building phase. There's a million names for it, okay? But the point is it can be done. This is why a lot of our clients, you know, they see our transformations on social media, our website, and they're like, whoa, what is going on here? This is crazy. This is insane. How did that happen? It's because of things like this. You gotta really understand the customization of the nutrition and the variability of it and understanding what nutrients and when it's time to increase, when it's time to stay, when it's time to maybe drop, all those things come into play differently for each single person, all right? So if anybody needs help with their coaching, we do offer nutritional coaching at teamflex.com. I also have a free coaching trial you can check out. Teamffelex.com right now. Put your email in the pop-up. It invites you over to my app. We can talk about your nutrition. I can give you guys some insight. I can talk with you about it. I can show you some workouts. You know, that's basically what we do with the trials, give you a client experience for free. Only people that get access to our coaching app or working with our coaches are our actual playing clients and then people like you on the free trial. So head over there, teamffelex.com right now. You can subscribe, check that out. I hope to see you on the other side. Otherwise, I hope you got something out of this video, you guys. Remember, the caloric surplus is key. If you want to build muscle, that's what you need to do. If you want to guess your way through it, it's hard. If you want help, go to my website, teamffelex.com. Please do me a favor, fam. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and then share out the video. I'm Ryan Milton. You have just watched Protein Power.